America, how we doing? Today is test day. I got one gallon of water in the tub, in the basin down here, and I marked it. Here's a old jug of water, and at the top I put little marks, and I show you how high the water mark was. All right, I put a gallon of water in here, in the basin, I just poured it in the basin, it was 84 degrees when I put it in, okay? I've got a thermometer here, oh! Got a little laser thermometer, and it is 83.4 right now. All right, 83.4, and when I turn the pump on right here, it starts spraying water. There you go. So it's a uh, 82.9. It's slowly losing temperature, because as you're circulating, it's coming out here, going through the air, and it's losing temperature. So we're down to 82.5 now. 82.2 okay so we're losing temperature let me get the computer the phone on here oh, come on there we go all right we are using 96 watts for the inverter is about 10 watts and this pump is running about what 80 86 watts that's what we're using right now just for the water circulation okay then I've got the other switch here plugged in Turn that on, that's the heater. That's that heater element in there. It's working right now. And we're looking at 610 watts now. So what did I say it was? 86 minus, so we're about 500 and some watts of electricity just for the heater, okay? And what I learned yesterday on this is the, 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 in the that little electrode in there, that, that heater element, isn't gonna work. What it'll do is it'll hold the temperature steady. It won't heat it up, but it'll keep it from losing temperature. As that water is coming out here, it's going through the air, it's cooling off. Every, every time it makes a circulation, it, it cools off just a little bit. All right? So uh, what we're doing is we're, we're just maintaining the temperature. 81.8 80, right now. All right? So ever so slightly losing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this stuff off. All right? And I'm going to boil about a half a gallon of water. I'm going to suck about a half a gallon of water out of here. I'm going to put it on the heater. And I'm going to heat it up to nice and hot. Now, maybe not, not a rolling boil, but good and hot. And I'm going to mix that water with the other half that's still in here. Okay. And it'll make the half gallon of room temperature and a half gallon of hot water. And it'll make it nice, warm, maybe hopefully around 100 degree water is what I'm looking for. So, I get that water heated up in about 100 degrees, and I'm going to jump in here and take a shower. No, I'm not going to do it on camera. <laughs> I'm going to jump in here and actually take a shower with the soap and the whole nine yards and see how comfortable that is. Now, the heater that's in it will maintain the temperature, I hope. Okay, this is my test, okay? So, with that, uh, rambling on a little too much, let me go ahead and get some water pumped out, get it heated up. It's just over on that induction stove. I'll heat it up on that. I'll come out here and pour some water in here and get this water nice and what I shower temperature water, about 100 degrees, 90, 95, 100, somewhere in there. And then I'm going to strip down and take a shower. I brought soap with me today. I couldn't do this test yesterday because I didn't have my soap with me. So I got some soap. I've got regular shampoo. Yes, I know. Everybody give me a hard time about shampoo. <laughs> um, I use this uh, Neutrogena oil-free. It's... Uh, acne shampoo basically and it gets rid of the little uh, uh, little red spots and stuff on my head I, they, they start I get a little pimple like things on my head that stops it's basically shampoo okay and uh, and then I've got a bar of soap so I'm gonna lather myself up and, and actually soap the water up and see if that filter filters out the soap feel if I can get a when I get done do I feel clean or not okay so let me get done, let me get off the camera here, let me do that stuff and I'll get back with you after the shower is over and uh, uh, I'll let you know the results.
<sighs> no sooner I get out of the shower, I start sweating again. <laughs> uh, it is a success, sort of. Sort of. Let me get this down. Hold on, let me set you down here. All right, swing this back down out of the way. There's my soap. Set that over there. There's my little bar of soap. Set that right there. Wash my hands off. All right, now the temperature has come down. The temperature has come down. I, when I put it in there, I had 90 or 80, 82 degree water in the basin, about a half a gallon, and I put a half a gallon on the stove. That half gallon I heated up to 130 degrees ish. Okay, that's taking this thing and just shooting it down in the water. So anyway, I think it was somewhere around 130 degrees. I came in here and I poured it in the side, filling it up, and then mixing it with the room temperature water. Half at 82, half at 130. It ended up being about 104 degrees. Okay. By the time I got stripped down and got in the shower, I tested it again. It was about 102. Okay. I took. Why am I bending over? I took my shower. I was in there for 10 minutes probably, and uh, I really wasn't all that dirty. I've been sweaty, but I'm not really that dirty. But I took a shower like I was re real dirty. I washed my around my ears real well and took a good, you know, good shower and soaked up every part of my body, legs, whole nine yards, everything. I didn't just rinse off. I took a good long shower. I wanted to get a proper amount of soap residue into the system, okay? And what we got here, let me turn you around. We've got a little bit of soap film. Now, it doesn't feel soapy to the touch and I feel clean. Okay, but you can see a milkiness to the water. Okay, now what we're going to do, set you guys down, turn you around again. So what we're going to do is we're going to pump that water back into this jug. All right, so I'm going to take the faucet down. I'm going to take the, the head off of it. Now I've got just a regular hose. Turn it on. I'm going to see if I can get all the water back out. How much of that water comes back out? All right. About a quart so far. About a half gallon. Start to suck a little air. Let it settle for a second, get back down into the pump. You got like an air bladder in the pump right now, or air, air bubble in the pump. Turn it back on. Yeah, pretty much most of it. There's still some in there. Alright, turn it off. All right, I'll put that back together in a second. Let's go out and talk about this. Ooh. All right, so final thoughts. What do I think about it? Well, is it a success? Yes. Is it a wonderful success? No. <laughs> um, what it is, it's about like a bath, okay? If you can... If you can take a bath and have that soap film on you when you get out, you'll think now you're in a bathtub and you got maybe 20 gallons of water in there and you have this soap, you know, your lather up and bubble bath or whatever. And when you get out, the water is dirty. The water you just cleaned your body off with is now dirty and you're sitting in that dirty water. And you go to stand up, you've got that dirty water film on you. You're cleaner than you went in, but see what I'm saying? This is kind of the same way. If you look, this is clear water. I don't know if this camera is going to pull this out too well. There's yesterday's clear water with no soap, anything. I just used it to see about the temperature. I tried to you know, test the temperatures and stuff out, see if the you know, system would work. Okay, I didn't have any soap, so I couldn't do the shower thing. But here's the water. It's clear, okay? Now, here's this, this jug's a little dirty on the outside because it's old, but the water inside was clean, okay? And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not. See how it has a kind of a milkiness to it? I'll set them side by side. 
Can you tell the difference? There's a little bit of a milkiness to it. All right, <clears throat> how much soap did I use? That little dispenser like that, it puts about an inch of concentrated soap and it's, it's uh, I would imagine any kind of shampoo. Uh, ladies with a lot of hair, you're gonna have a lot more shampoo to filter out. Guys like me, okay, less shampoo. Uh, <laughs> no shampoo. But I use, uh, I don't use soap. I don't use bar soap on my head because it, it, it makes it feel weird. I use that, uh, what did I say, that Neutrogena oil-free, uh, uh, it's, it's uh, acne soap, I guess. And it, it helps get rid of these little pimples and stuff on the side of my head. When I wear a hat, I start getting those little pimples and stuff. So anyway, uh, I used that and uh, I used, used a little, like a half inch or a three quarter inch squirt, just one pump, and that's all I use, okay? And then the bar soap, uh, you use what you use on bar soap, you know, however much you use, okay? I lathered up my whole body from top to bottom and then I rinsed all of myself off. I was in the shower pumping for about 10 minutes. Okay, and I think that thing will do like five gallon a minute pump, I think something like that, five and a half gallons a minute. So if I'd have left it turn, just running the way it was for 10 minutes, I'd have used 55 gallons of water. Okay, that's where this only uses one gallon, okay? Now, why did that not fill all the way back up to the top line? I guess evaporation. I mean, there's a little bit left in the system, but it's mostly out. There's just, um, just a little bit in a hose, which would probably be maybe another half inch in this. So the rest of it must be evaporation, okay? Uh, reason I say that is because, okay, I had water in there yesterday and I pumped it out and this is where it started out at this line and it went down, I filled it back up to there. So that much water was still in the system, I thought. Well, I figured if I put a full gallon in here, what's left in the system plus this full gallon is one and a quarter, you know, one gallon and a quart or something maybe. When I pumped this out, it would fill all the way back to the top and it didn't, it only went to there. So what I'm getting, I think, is evaporation into the air, okay? And on my body, okay? So, uh, let's see, the uh, pump works fine, works perfect, just exactly why I hoped it would. The, the shower basin works fine. People were saying that the nozzle coming out of that, the, the, where the drain is, you know, it had that half inch. As long as that's underwater, it will suck, okay? I uh, had no problem with that. Water pumps and good full force water coming out of the shower. Uh, no, no problem at all with the water system itself, the pumping and the hoses and all that. Everything worked just exactly what I hoped it would. The heater didn't work as good, okay? The, the heater, the, that element, it will basically maintain whatever temperature the water is, okay? As the water comes out of the shower head and it falls to the ground, it's like a waterfall and it cools off, okay? The air around it cools each droplet off and it, it cools down. So every time it goes through the system, it cools off like one degree or something, half a degree, okay? I think the hotter the water is, the faster that will cool off, okay? Compared to your outdoor temperature. Now, if you have 90 degree water and it's 50 degrees outside, it will probably uh, cool down faster, obviously. If it's 100 degree water and it's 90 degrees outside, it probably won't cool down near as fast, okay? But the whole time I was in the shower, I didn't, it was never cold, okay? I, I, I put, uh, there was 80, about 82 degree water and I pumped some of it out into the water, uh, jug, went in and put it on a stove, heated it up to about 130. So 82 to 130, it came out around 105. When I shot it, I put it all in there and I shot it, it was about 105 degrees. I started taking my shower, and when I got out, it was about 90 or 90, I think it was about 90 degrees when I got out, okay? 95 degrees, I'm sorry, 95 degrees when I got out. 95 degrees is not cold water, okay? It's comfortable water. It's not hot, it's not a steaming shower. But anyway, uh, and I run the, the electric element, so it cools off. That element basically doesn't work, okay? Um, so I'll probably take it out. I'll probably take it out and just put a solid hose in there. Less chance of, uh, less chance of leaks and stuff like that. Less chance of, there's no chance of electrocution because there's no electrical in there anymore. So with that, uh, got any questions? <laughs> I'll try to answer them in the next video or something. But, um, uh, I had a lot of, a lot of naysayers, uh, saying, oh my God, it's going to be ass water. Well, no, it's not. It's just soapy water. Uh, of course I wasn't terribly dirty. Okay. Uh, I was sweaty, you know, but I feel clean. When I got out, I feel clean. Uh, I don't have that soapy film feel to me. And I would imagine that matter, it, it depends on what kind of soap you use too. Uh, some people say use that Dr. Bronner's soap. It's that uh, uh, biodegradable soap or something. Never used it, so I don't know. 
Uh, that's just regular. Actually, what that soap disc was was a uh, out of a, a hotel from years back. I had a hotel, or actually probably truck stop, truck stop shower, uh, um, single serving soap is what it was. So um, shampoo and soap gets in the water and it doesn't get filtered by the the uh, filter. Uh, I'm going to have to maybe experiment with some of that Epsom salt next time and see if Epsom salt helps the filter filter the soap out. I don't know. We'll see. So with that, uh, is it a success? I'd say it's a 90% success. It's, it's everything I hope it would do. It, it's a good enough shower for me, okay? Um, if you don't mind taking a, a bath and getting clean and then stepping out of the bath and then drying yourself off, okay, that's about what I feel like right now. I don't feel like a shower with perfectly clean water. I don't feel any dirtier than a, a bathtub uh, uh, cleaning. So anyway, got any questions, uh, comments, whatever, leave them down at the bottom. And uh, maybe next video I'll try to address some of those or just in the comments I'll address or whatever. So with that, I think it's break time. Thank you.